the tail of the tape then for this featherweight bout. That's right, featherweight. Barboza is older by three years and is to go with the next bout tonight. Three rounds, this in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a wrestler sitting five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in 146 pounds in 20 professional fights. His record stands at 16 victories and four defeats. Fighting out of Turku, Finland by way of Kurdistan. Here is Mr. Finland, Mekpo Amitakani. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting him in the red corner. He is a striker standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing it officially 145 and 1 half pounds. His professional record stands at 20 victories and 9 defeats. Fighting out of Nova Friburgo, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Here is Edson Barbosa Jr. And your referee in charge of the action is Kevin Sataki. So Edson Barboza, the minus 250 favorite. Thank you very much, Red. That man, Maquan Amikani, plus 210, you according ready? to Caesar yeah. William Hill. You the fight book is brought to you by Modelo. We've got Amikani in the blue, Barboza in the yellow. Not as quick start as you guys are hoping no. for from Amikani. I was holding on to my seat. He kind of sprinted to the center like he was going to do something wild, but now he's waiting. And I wonder if he's trying not to be too predictable. I'm sure Barbosa was expecting that fast sprint finish. He told me something fascinating. Maquan said this is the perfect fight for him, and he actually asked the matchmakers to fight Barbosa before we got the Danny Henry fight. Interesting. Not many people asking to fight Barbosa. Yeah, he's had his eye on him for a little while, which means maybe he's you know, studied him a little deeper. Nice What's an opportunity here for Mr. Finland? Yeah, it looks to me like he's trying to bait the kicks out of Edson so that he can counter them. I think you're right. Interesting play with the lead hand as well. Maquin a couple of times has met that lead hand of Edson Barbo, so try to jam it, and he keeps stepping towards the outside of the lead foot as well. I wonder if he's going to try and couple it with a straight left down the pipe before he level changes. A lot of people's experience will pale into insignificance when you're facing someone like Barbosa, but it is his fifth year with the UFC now, Amir Khani. Won his 20th pro fight. He's talking about that maturation of his professional fighting career. I remember the conversation going into the Danny Henry fight was the amount of time he'd spent working on his boxing. Yeah, and it was a still not really amateur boxing yes. fights as well. Yeah, but still really didn't feel like he showed the the, the boxing skills that he's, he's gained in that fight. Told me he's got eight or nine setups for that anaconda that he's becoming kind of notorious for. He went all the way to nine, but not ten. <laughs> I, he was really Disappoint stuck. Disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> He got drawn against Edson Barboza and had to Yeah, he had to stop playing. Stop yeah. playing. <laughs> Learn how to check some leg kicks. Yeah. A lot of play with the lead hand from Maquin and Carney. Both guys trying to battle for the outside hand. Maquin winning at this at the moment. He's, he, you can see he's expecting the kicks from Barbosa. And I think you're right, Paul. He's waiting for those kicks to come so he can, he can capitalize on it. Right, and you can tell Edson's waiting for something. He wants want something out of Americani. So both guys kind of in this stalemate. There's a nice front kick to the body from Edson. Edson said that when he approached 145 against Dan Eager, he was a little nervous. He didn't know how his body was going to react. Ooh. But now he's had that experience. He felt great over 15 minutes. Good jab there from Americani. Kind of expecting him to put his foot down a little bit more. Or slam his foot more frequently into the thighs and legs of... Amir Khani, all the body. Nice work again from Barbosa. That's two shots to the body, two front kicks, two hooks. McIntyre trying to come over the top with the catch right hook. Oh, oh, that, oh I heard a little cutback. Cut. Cut. <laughs> you can see the discipline and maturity in Barbosa's style. He's, he knew that was coming. Last shot by Michael Amir Khani. Can he finish it? Another shot to the body. I see Edson spar so fast. His hips are so strong. That's it. If you can fire kicks forward at the speed that Barbosa can, you, you can also fire that, those hips back just as quickly. And he 
keeps digging that right hook to the body. It's like a, a right shovel punch right into the midsection of Makwan Amir Khani. Same target that he's landed on that front kick. There's a nice uppercut entry there for Amir Khani. Tied up the right arm of Barbosa. Nice defense. But like you said, that was a good punch to get in there and close that distance from Amir Khani. You can imagine how strong Barbosa is at this weight as well. Yeah, it's just like steel wire. <laughs> The old sinewy and stuff, yeah. right? Amir Khani added Tommy Hulkanen, high-level grappler, yes. to his team. Very skilled. Spaghetti BJJ, I think he goes Something by. Something like that. And he actually said that this is the biggest fight in Finnish MMA history. The opportunity in this co-main event that's been presented to Amir Khani, but he stood firm on that big right hand from Barboza. Counter hook again. Oh. Oh. Finally gets the take down. He's going to run out of time, and we're going to be back in 30 seconds. Ah. Oh, would that discourage Barboza from throwing more body kicks? Well, I think, like his coach said, you got to be more offensive. You got to throw other things too. He can't just go out there and throw that big right kick. There's a nice right hand. He's got to start getting his hands going. I like, that, jab. I like that up jab from yeah. Amir Khani. It seems to be throwing Edson off just a little bit. What he's doing well is he, he, he keeps tapping the outside of Barbosa's hand. So now Barbosa's starting to move his lead hand away from the center line to start, start meeting it. And then that's when he's coming up the center channel. Watch, he's doing it again here. Tap, tap on the outside and then come straight up the center line. He's got to be careful to not to keep going back to that up jab after he does tap that glove because you see Edson started recognizing that and he's looking for his right hand now. You can tell Barbosa's focused on the retraction of that kick as well. Yeah. The speed at which Something he goes out, he's pulling yep. it back just as quickly. Amir Khani focused on conditioning since we last saw him on Fight Island. Got himself ready for this. He believes the skill set's there. Made a lot of changes over the last year. Had a terrible experience in New York when he fought Shane Burgos. It was a lot to do with weight cutting, and he really saw his gas tank empty early. But he's fixed that. You can see he's looking pretty good in his second round. Fighting like a very mature fighter as well, not taking too many risks. It's quite clear what he's, you know, that he's sticking to a game plan. And I just don't think he's getting the stimulus from Edson Barbosa that he's looking for to see it through. Yeah, at some point, one of these guys is going to have to make a decision to go for it a little bit more because, especially for Edson, you've had these close fights, and here you are again. You guys are going back for, back and forth. And somebody's yes, got to take over. All this is 100% what he's been saying to the media all week. Got to get the finish. You're going to see the more violent Barboza. All the spinning attacks, the elbows, the knees. Ooh, and again, digs that body. It's like the tale of the two samurai that meet in the field and stare at each other for a few days and don't move because the first one to move, the first one to get cut down. Watch those fingers, Macron. Good play with the lead hand still here. Macron's going to try and come up that center channel again. We haven't seen any any spinning attacks from Edson either, and I'm sure. Oh, oh, clean! Sat him down with that right hand, though. Macron's hurt. That was a second good shot to the nose as well. Oh, that's oh, both man. on the neck. Oh, Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, here he goes. Thunder. Yeah, he's wrapped it up. Is he going to roll through with it? Oh, Macron bails out, breaks the grip. Very nice work. He's trying to hit Amir Khani with his signature with his, yeah, move. With his move. The nose is busted of Amir Khani. Yeah, that was so, so fast. quick. Yeah, I know. Let's <laughs> <laughs> work it, sir. I mean, he kind of expects it on the, but even the way he can move around a body like he did there. Thank you, guys. Ridiculous. Barbosa, I think he's telling the referee that Macron's holding his glove. He's got a good clamp on the wrist. Nose is bust from Macron and Carney, and there it is again. So fast. There's the violent Barbosa that he promised. Good work by Macron. Now he's going to really force the points on this takedown, but the sprawl of Edson Barbosa. So hard. I'm telling you, people watch tape on Edson and they they see guys like Khabib and Kevin Lee be able to take him down and get some control. 
But look at all the other people who have been trying over the... He, right. He, and when he does get taken down, he finds a way back up. He's so strong, and he wastes no time getting right back up to his feet. Well, we got some blood from Barbosa here as well. And that's another thing as well. He's preparing for that speed of Edson Barbosa. It must be so difficult. I guess we can go back to flash for him now. He's quick enough. Okay. The other thing we have to keep in mind is if Makwanamiyakani starts to bite on that right hand, it's going to start to open up the, the side of his head for that right kick to come up high. And, and what do you want to do? Do you want to block the body? Do you want to block the head? You can't do both. Oh. I'm holding my breath, wait. I know. <laughs> uh, it's stressful watching against the fight. Oh! oh he got him got the same he's strike right. Yeah, he's nailed him with that right hand a couple of times. And it's the same setup. He rolls. Wow. Oh, that looks tight. That looks very tight. Macquan's going to try and create some distance here. Oh, the grip man. Again. So close. This is Amikani's chance to get hands on Barbosa, but he's just too slick. So he got the 10 moment. seconds. He's strong now for Edson Barbosa. A good finish from Ame Kani, but it was probably a, just bad timing. Absolutely. Right at the end of the round, those two right hands from Barboza, Paul. Lightning fast, man. He is so fast. Let's take a look at these right hands. Look, no set. Boom! He, he oh. corks his hips first and then darts it straight in. Look, he turns it in and then throws it right down the middle, right on the nose of Amir Kani, right on the jaw that time, sat him right down twice. Look how he steps through as well with the rear leg to follow up. Yeah, his distance. whole body comes behind that. Wow. To his credit, Amir Kani immediately like a laser walk. focus onto the legs. Huh? To ready, get sir? to the you center ready? of the octagon. They get straight to work. The thing is, that's twice now Mako and Amir Kani knows that if he really pushes for that takedown, that he can get it. But two rounds now, he's finished on top for the last 10 seconds. He's going to have to work faster this round. But it, Dan, is that maybe to do with the, the strategy of Barboza and his timing when he's taking more risks and leaving himself open? Uh, absolutely it is. You know, I mean, Barboza's controlling the range and, I mean, he's, he's a, a, the, the much quicker fighter, it seems, in here. Michael Amir Khan is doing a good job with his lead hand, but he's not following it up with anything once he lands that snappy lead hand. Whereas Barboza's firing the, the, the straight right and he's cracking him down the pipe. Dropped him twice now. I think it's a, a really good adjustment from Edson too, right? We expect the body kick, we expect the leg kicks from Edson. But you see Amir Khani's in Southpaw, Edson couldn't quite find the leg kicks. And obviously the body kick, it got caught and taken down, so he had to make an adjustment and he found that right hand and dropped him twice with it. Yeah, that was a, a show to take at his debut against Andy Ogle, yeah. flew in with the knee, but that crashing forward has allowed him to get Barboza up against the fence. It's kind of what I expected from him in the first round. I think he's given it, uh, Barbosa a lot of respect. And it's probably cost him a couple of rounds and some structure of his nose. And we're kind of trying to do damage to that 81% takedown defense stat of Barbosa. He needs to do something to make it count. Have something on the back of it. He's holding on to that calf of Edson like, for dear life right now to keep him down, try and pull on that knee. Barbosa's got that, that Kimura lock, but uh, he's going to struggle to do a great deal with it with the way his legs are tangled up. Now, that's a good, that's good work. Switch the grip over to a single hand, but Amir Khan is driven him into the fence. Now he's flattening him out. This is the most important three minutes of Amir Khan's career, and he finds himself, for the first time in this fight, in a good position with a little bit of space on that clock. Yeah, he's got to get really busy here because both those rounds were clear to Edson, maybe even a 10-8 round with those two knockdowns. So he's got to get a finish, Yeah, in my opinion. And Barbosa is still going to threaten off the bottom. We can't underestimate his ground game as well. Got the overhook. He's trying to create some space to bring a leg through. Stacking over from Makwan Amir Khani, though. Driving in, there's a foot on the hip. And it's, oh, look at that, that was super quick. So not a great deal of offense 
just yet from M.A. Carney. He's trying to establish position here. He needs a fight-ending sequence. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be enough for, for top oh control God, for two minutes after the, the, the second round that he had. Oh, the referee's now in his case as well, so up his work rate right if he wants to stay here. Yeah, and Edson has no problem just holding on to the back of the head. Trying to force his stand up because he's pressed up against the fence. Nice elbow there from Maquan and Mirajani. How does Ame Kani engineer a submission from this position? Or will he have to punch his way home? Because he is most definitely behind on those scorecards. Well, if we could at least get some ground and pound going, that might force Edson to try to really stand back up, use the fence, give up his neck. Yes. To make a mistake, but if he doesn't ground upon him, it's going to be fine teammate, to just go. hold on and get a Come stand on guys, up. Let go. Get well, up. the referee saw Turn enough. Let's go. Up. It's a fight. Turn around. Fight. Surely some relief there from Barbosa. Oh. oh! Beautiful left hook over the top. The right hand missed, but he countered. There's the front kick to the midsection again. Cuffed him with that left hand. Really nice work. Well, that's how you throw a front kick. Coming into the last 30 seconds. Michael oh, going to do something and he goes Stop down again. Him. So fast. Ooh, I was right waiting hand. for one of them today. <laughs> <laughs> well, he looks good on his energy systems. At 145 oh, oh, combination. That hurts him for sure. He's that pressing. gunfire. Oh, another shot to the solar plexus from Edson. Last 10. Maquin has taken some punches for his troubles for this fight. Beautiful performance by Edson Barbosa. Snapping right yeah, he hand knows in the it. center. He knows it. And that was a lovely performance from Edson Barbosa. Showed some 